Hello everyone and welcome to the third installment of The Goof Stuff. I'm sporting my Brewer Winter hat today, one, because it's cold out, and two, because the Super Bowl was on Sunday and now I'm looking forward to baseball season. So, let's get right to it. This past weekend, the Milton High School wrestling and boys swimming teams competed at their respective conference meets. The wrestlers took third place as Stoughton and Sauk Prairie took the top two spots. All three of those teams are ranked in the state. The biggest news, though, is that Milton finished behind Stoughton, meaning the Vikings won the Badger South title outright. The Red Hawks' historic streak of 22 straight conference titles is over. Tristan Woods, Nick Richards, and Billy Pitzner highlighted the day by taking second place. A special thanks goes out to Jake Kurtz from our sister paper, the DeForest Times Tribune, for the wrestling photos. The swimmers took fifth, squeaking past Edgewood by three points as Monona Grove, the top team in the state, dominated the meet. According to head coach Jenny Quaddy, the Red Hawks posted 39 personal best times and two season best times out of 56 overall times. Alex Kerrig had two personal best times on his way to an all-conference finish in the 100-yard butterfly. He, along with Colin Hickey, Nick Corchani, and Eric Fonz, earned all-conference honors with a second-place finish in the 200-yard freestyle relay. The Rock County Fury girls hockey team won two of three games this past week, including a 3-2 decision over Viroqua on Saturday to guarantee at least a third place finish in the Badger Conference. Against the Blackhawks, MHS sophomore Michaeli Busher started in goal and finished with 22 saves. Fellow MHS sophomores Maggie Hensler and Allie Burke had a goal and an assist, respectively. The Red Hawk girls basketball team split a pair of games this past week, but were most impressive in a win at Fort Atkinson last Friday. Milton used a 25-0 run in the middle of the game to pull away from Fort and win 73-46. Kaylee Harbert, Bailey Collins, Emma Martin, and Haley Campion all scored in double figures. Looking at the upcoming schedule, boys swimming sectionals on Saturday is the most significant event in the next week. Red Hawk individuals and relays will be looking to qualify for the WIAA Division II state meet, which will be held on Friday, February 19th. Alex Kerrig, Colin Hickey, and Nick Corchani all competed at state last year. Will they be able to make it back to state as individuals or part of a relay this year? We will see. The Elkhorn Wrestling Regional Tournament is also Saturday. Last year, all 14 of Milton wrestlers made it out of regionals to sectionals and helped the team reach the team sectional final against Stoughton, which the Vikings ended up winning and going to state. The Red Hawks will have tough competition at regionals as state honorable mention Elkhorn will be there, along with a few other tough teams. If Milton can win the regional again, it'll take on the winner of the Sun Prairie Regional in the team sectional final on Tuesday in Stoughton. I'm going to go out on a limb and say Stoughton will probably win that regional, and we might be able to witness another exciting Milton versus Stoughton dual meet. But first, the Red Hawks have plenty of work to do on Saturday. Lastly, I'll highlight the hockey teams. Both the Red Hawk boys and the Fury girls wrap up the regular season schedules and start the playoffs in the next week. The boys are the 10th seed and travel to 7th seed at Greendale and will try to get revenge for an ugly loss earlier in the season. The Fury are the 3rd seed and host the Badger Thunder at Edwards Ice Arena in Beloit next Thursday. I'll be catching a preview of that playoff game at 7 p.m. this Thursday at Edwards as the Fury play the Thunder in their final conference game of the season. Thanks as always for tuning in and I hope all of you are looking forward to the uh, postseason events coming up for all sports. And I will talk to you next week.